Greetings, my little yarnivores. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you this super easy, quick, and fun way of making a cord. And it is a process called spool knitting. And this technique has been around for a very long time, but with time comes improvements. And I'm going to show you how to use this handy dandy little gadget. Um, I believe it's called the Wonder Knitter uh, by Clover and I absolutely love this little guy. Um, actually it is very easy to operate and it comes with a three peg as well as a six peg and this works up so very fast. Originally people would take old uh, used spools of thread, wooden spools, and they would drive nails in around the hole and they would create cording. And there are a number of crafts that you can do with this cording, whether it is creating a cord and then stitching it to the edge of a blanket or a garment. Uh, it's called an eye cord. Um, you know, eye cord edging, you can do this with, uh, you know, two double pointed knitting needles. Um, you can do a larger version of this, which is uh, finger knitting. I might show you how to do that later, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do a really simple eye cord using the spool knitter. And uh, all right, let's get into it, shall we? Alrighty. So by the way, this is a great project if you have a small ball of yarn and you don't want to throw it away, yet you want to use it and you don't know what to use it for, this is an awesome project for that, let me tell you. So just using a little bit of worsted weight yarn, you can use whatever you have. This is a great stash buster project. And so all you do is you take your little spool knitter here and you thread the yarn through the top and you want to leave yourself a nice tail at the bottom for working with later. And then in a counterclockwise fashion, we're going to go around the left side to the right, and then see this is the left side to the right side. And then again from the left side to the right side. Alrighty. And so what you're going to do is go around in that fashion. So you only have one loop going around, almost in like a figure eight style. Okay. And then you're going to take that yarn and you're going to put it into the little yarn guide, which is so handy dandy. And what I like to do is have it going from this peg around this way because it creates a little bit of tension, which we do want. And then you take your handy dandy pick, and you push that down just a little bit, and pull that down just a little bit. And then once you get this going, it is so fast. I love it. So basically, all you have to do is just turn your wheel like so. You know, if you can if you can move your thumb, <laughs> you know, half the battle is done. You know, push that loop down. And see, we're creating two loops on that peg there. And so what you do is you take the bottom loop and you pick it up and you pull it over the top loop and off. And then you pull down on the center cord there. And then you continue to rotate. Oops. And then you pull the bottom loop over the top loop. Turn the wheel. Bottom loop. Over the top loop. And you want to keep pulling this down. Now you could attach a weight to the bottom of this, uh, which might help. But after a while, 
and the stitches become more established, you really don't need to worry about that. So it's just the bottom loop over the top loop, turn the wheel, bottom loop over the top loop, bottom loop over the top loop. And it's easy as that. And this is, well, for anybody that's been watching my channel long enough knows that I love mindless repetition because it becomes mindful meditation. It's a way of creating something without actually having to think too terribly much about it. And I love that. I love creating something without having to agonize over it. And this is a great craft for kids, for adults, whomever, you know, I mean, why judge? And so as you can see, it's starting to take shape down there, all right? And so I'm going to do a little bit more of this, and then I will show you how to cast off from our spool knitter, all right? I'm going to do a bit more. So as you can see, I've done a nice bit. And yeah, if you're using a variegated yarn, create some really cool effects, as you can see. So when you reach the length that you're going for, all you have to do is leave yourself a nice tail and snip. And then with a yarn needle, all you're going to do is obviously thread your needle, der. And okay, so we went through that one there. Then going to your next loop, what I like to do is I like to go down, through, pick up the loop, pick it off, and then thread through. And then go to my next one, going down through, pull it up off, then pull through, pardon me, then pull through that loop. Okay, and then go through the last one, pulling it off and through, and voila. Now, the really cool thing that you can do, and why I say that this is a great stash buster, is because you can connect. <clears throat> excuse me, you can connect these cords to pre-existing cords, and you can just keep going and going and going. And you can be color coordinated or not, it's totally up to you. And to attach one cord to another, perhaps, you know what, I'm going to go to the light one because it'll be easier to see. All right, so I already have this one threaded. And then what you're going to do is basically you're going back and forth between the two to connect them. So you grab a loop, so in this case from my white one, stitch through, and then going back through the gray, and then go back through the white, and then back in through the gray. And really you're just going back and forth and back and forth. And since I've already done a couple of stitches, what I can do right now is I can quite easily and simply just knot them together as if you were just tying your shoes. Just knot them together. and then continue stitching back and forth. Let me just get this white tail out of the way. Yeah, just stitch back and forth to create a more seamless appearance. Will it be entirely seamless? No, but more seamless. How about that? So just going back and forth, 
until it is nice and joined up together. And then, see, nice and strong. And then what you do, since it's already been knotted and woven together, what you do is you then take your ends and you go through the center of the cord as best you can. This is not an exact science. Life generally isn't. And you want to go into the center of the cord for a bit and then pull your yarn tail. And then because this cord is stretchy, you want to give it a little bit of a stretch and then you snip. And then you would obviously do the same thing with the white end. And this is great, especially if you want a thicker yarn. And like me, you don't feel like paying for a thicker yarn um, because they can be very, very pricey. So if you want a fashion yarn that's a bit thicker, it's got a bit of neat texture, and you have those really big crochet hooks and knitting needles that you have yet to use, but you just had to have them, here you go, a thick, thick, thick yarn, you know, and you can craft with this just as easily. And as I've said, this is a great stash buster. And the only thing I would recommend is that if you are going to do this, you know, with, you know, worsted weight yarn, stay with worsted weight yarn. You know, don't go with, you know, a, a bulky weight down to a fingering weight up to a, you know, uh, worsted and so on and so forth, but here you go. And there are a number of different crafts that you can do with this. Um, the world is your oyster. Crack it open and see what you got, all right? So listen, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It's so much fun. It's so easy, and uh, I hope you give it a try, all right? And uh, if you like the video, please hit like. If you want to see more, I'm always doing more, whether it's knitting, crocheting, what have you. Uh, so if you like it and you want more, hit subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, what have you, comment down below. I'm more than happy to try to help as best I can because I love you guys. And so until next time, stay caffeinated, stay inspired, and above all, keep stitching. You have a great, great day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.